Oh shoot, I did it again. I hit the circle and it erased that the last thing I just um, did. So give me a second here. I'm gonna, Some I'm trying something. Extra okay. benefits and stuff from uh, the different battles by. Hello, and welcome to time. Old Grizz's Worship Wednesday. Oh, yes, and I had to start oh, this there's no audio no. track all over again. Because I hit the zero. Did I see, and it, see it was Annihilation? I think it is, yes. Yeah. It's, it, no, it's... Um, there's no bases to defend. If you look, <laughs> at, the, look at the little map, that big circle, that's Adam. what you got to defend. And, um... Yeah, like I said, this is the first time I've played this type of battle. So, is Why it... Did say that? It's kind of like we all accumulate right there in the middle there, there, and then it's just, just a... Coming into range. Just a slugfest. And I'm trying to stay... Get my guns to bear on this guy. Kind of... I don't want to get too close in there, because then you become a big target. Battleships are slow... And they can be easily targeted, so I'm trying to stay within. See, like over here on the right side, the left side. I'm giving that side my whole broadside. Now I'm trying. Now I'm turning into them, see, so that I'm pointing into their direction, and that they're not. But see, when you do that over on the right, now you're putting your right, right to through the, the middle side. of them. Oh, no. no, back out. Up. There's a little destroyer. Back it up. I was too. I was heading right straight through the center. I would have been bracketed by those left and right. And that's kind of like why it's kind of... Turned around so I'm not going right into the middle of them. Oh, I got a citadel. Oh, I'm trying to keep an eye on the mini-map and seeing where everything is at. Uh, too many times I've gone in just and capturing uh, something. I was blind to one area because I was focused on one target, not realizing that there's other ships to my left and right shooting me. <laughs> so within a matter of a little few minutes, man, I was gone. I was like, I'm trying to change the? up my speeds and, and stuff is what I'm doing. When you go back and look at it, yep, that's where I was sitting, right in the middle of them all. Uh, I'm good to do, I was good nice. at doing that with my Got DDs. Go oh, so no. rushing in, oh. be the hero. He's getting, tom he's get get tom tom fired upon because there'd be three or four ships all at once doing their best to take me out. And they did. They were good at it. And I'm getting better. I'm learning. I'm learning when to pop the smoke. I'm finding that if you if you're getting into a situation that might be a little sticky or that you don't want them to know you're there, pop your smoke. Then you can disappear for a little bit, especially if you're they're looking to damage you, and um, you're looking for a way out maybe. And I have done that where I've set the smoke and it sets those rings. Your, your diameter of your different rings. Well, I go through the other side, so I'm coming out the other side. I'm still being hidden by the smoke, and it's one way to try to escape maybe a terrible situation, maybe. It doesn't always work, but it's worth a try. The smoke will help. Uh, but like, let's say if I was right here, to pop smoke wouldn't be no good. I'd have wasted it. But besides, the battleships don't pop smoke anyway. It's mostly DDs. But like I said, like, oh, let's see what a waste of a shot, dang it. See, like, for instance, let's say, with a DD, I could come across from this island. I could pop the smoke as I come out. And, take care uh, of that little destroyer. If there's a target on the other side of that island, I could set my torps after him. While I'm also throwing some uh, AP at him. Armor piercing. There you go. I was telling him to get that DD. That DD is dangerous, so we eliminated that. Then it was just easy pick is working on that cruiser and battleship. Because it's three to three right now. See what I mean? We're all kind of circling around in that one area. Like I said, that's the first time I fought a battle like this on a warship, so. And I'm just checking. I got to check to see how this is doing. We're at 22 minutes. I'm gonna see if this one shuts my machine down. I'm gonna get try it because if I go to if I go to 30 minutes, when I speed this up to get the Prairie Dog voice, which would be Andy, 
Andy's the prairie dog voice that does the vo designing at the, my coaster, my parks. So what's sitting here, speeding the clip up, creates the voice of uh, Andy. Of when I do the same thing in the park, working on different things, when I speed it up, you get the voice of Alex. So Alex is in the park working. Andy's here at the at the editor's desk doing the designs, and Mom is just sitting there approving everything. She's she's in the background. She's there. She's the most important one, but uh, she doesn't want to be up front and center. So it's mostly Andy and Alex, and that's because I needed to explain the voice when I speed up the clips, and if I slow my speech down. When I do talk, and do speed it up, you'd be able to understand what Andy and Alex are saying. Make it short work and when I get better York, at that, let us we'll start mind. understanding what they're talking huh? about as opposed to just I've had that happen though before. But I love it when they laugh. 21 minutes to load. <laughs> that's what takes so long with these things. So oh, well, that's right. We got yeah, we're being shot at. Okay. I want, nice. I want some more tea, please. Well done. Okay. That's a good enough for um, Warships Wednesday. So we're I got tea. enough clips in here now. I should be able to do some. I want some tea, 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 uh, tea videos. I'll do a couple, maybe. Yep. And there, see, we're getting the premium now. Well, see, this first clip I put in there, I did commentary excellent. on it when I was running excellent, the clips. Excellent, excellent. See, I'm, I need want to get that... Um, and that's why uh, so we're doing good. Uh, you hear Mr. Editor talking, or Old Grizz, one and the same. Oh, why thank you. Okay, get back there. Wow, getting the hang of it. You could do that little googly thing there too with the 3D special effects thing, but okay. Now I'm I'm into the part of the clip that there's no running commentary, so I'm gonna have to pay attention to what's up on the screen. I got a different uh, Andy editor thing going on on the screen, so that's not me. We have World of Warships going on here, Carrier Sunday. Up in the corner here, we have our drummer drumming. You can hear it in the background sometimes. And we'll do some more clips of that. I gotta put the thing together about the teardown, re uh, clearing, cleaning up that area over there, and rebuilt, re putting the drum kit back together. And um, I want to move the model and everything and kind of straighten that area up, give it a better like uh, backdrop to the drums. But here's the destroyer. Yeah. This is what I'm talking about. See, coming out from beside this island, you can use the island for uh, protection a little bit, but then you gotta be careful. Some of these ships can shoot over the island. Yes, yeah, sir. And um, it, one thing, too, is that helps with this here, working with the AI. It kind of helps figure out what targets to choose. And, how to pick a target and that in um, I was I was just used to just picking the first one I saw and start shooting at it now I'm realizing that hey find one that others are shooting at and shoot at it too so to combine guns and combine firepower will do more than just one ship by just trying to work on one ship by yourself teamwork <laughs> And the other teams do that when we get annihilated. And that's exactly what they do. They pick us apart. They pick us off one by one. There'll be two or three of them working together. And they'll get you in a crossfire situation. And uh, I've had many times, like that, what I was doing with the battleship in that last fight is when I realized what was going on, I was heading right into amongst all of them. Now, when you get a battle amongst destroyers and cruisers, they don't move all that up. <laughs> it's hard to get them buggers out of there. And they'll take a beating. But Battleship would be the one that you could probably push on through, maybe. And hopefully, if you're lucky enough and the RNG guys are praying for you, <laughs> you can make it through. 
Um, but then again, too, you're, like I said, you're giving your broadside to left and right because you're being bracketed, and oh man, it could be devastating. Um, you do that with a DD, you know, they'll, they'll eliminate you almost immediately, which I've had them do. And that's where the idea of popping the smoke, and um, one thing I learned too is to stay off the capture points. Because once you jump on a capture spot, it, the game lets everybody know that you're there. <laughs> they know where you are. They can come and get you. So, uh, yeah. And here's another. Yeah, I've been working on these. Um, this line I just started. It's like uh, objectives and stuff. But it gives me additional rewards when we win. Like, like the first win of the day where you got the little red star. Where there's that little blue anchor in... Um, I should go look and see what it's actually doing for me, <laughs> but it's like it's like the first win of the day. So if you when you win, you have that up, you get added uh, rewards and stuff. It it helps you uh, progress your ships through their lines and work towards uh, the next tier. And like I said, I think next week I'll be doing more. A I'm going to start going in on standard. I'm waiting for the uh, ranked battle start. I want to try that again. Like, see, I have the tier five kid that I can use in that, and that that would probably help a little bit in the ranked battles, because I think it has to be tier five or better in order to take it in. Yeah. That's part. Of, I'd have to look at that. I'd have to back out of here, and I'm not hitting a circle on this controller. I had to hold, it was brilliant. I had the best audio track in the world and no one will ever hear it because I deleted it. <laughs> You're as good as your editor. <laughs> and we're stuck with Mr. Editor. No, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. I just messed that around. Now I have fun with this World War, I like, I like World of Warships. I like driving the ships, the shooting, the, the, and it's like it's a, a, a constant chess game that's in constant motion. Uh, where to put your ship at, how to get your ship angled. Um, I can remember sitting here trying to turn into a, an enemy so that I wouldn't give him broadside, but I gave my broadside, look, uh, he, ouch, but missed me. There's a danger, there's a dangerous one right there, see, ouch. Uh, missed me too. I didn't take no damage on that one. But it's risky business. But see, this is what I'm saying. This is a good spot to pop the smoke because he's looking at you. You're right there. He, it, 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 in order to get away, maybe to keep him uh, take the his aim off of you. Pop your smoke. You'll disappear in a smoke, and for a moment. You might be able, and it's exactly what I, I got away. But somebody popped a smoke over there. <laughs> See? It wasn't me. Um, I don't have smoke on this guy. This is a, a cruiser. Oh, it is in New Orleans. See, I can't see it. It's real small because I got the small screen up because I'm doing the editing right now. We're getting to the end of this clip. And do not, I repeat, do not touch the circle on the controller or we will be doing take four and we got to get some work done outside no I gotta go do some stuff so I tell you what we'll leave it at that um, from ELA studio and son to panther <laughs> yeah that's what work on next. I work towards it <laughs> see that's what I was talking about segments okay. and stuff and I'm working towards uh, uh, all the Admiral ones that King will done be the first today. reward. I think we'll leave I'll it have at that. Uh, carrier commander, I can put and, on my um, I'll up throw my some carriers. clips together and get something posted. Um, yeah, we're we'll gonna do that right now. Studio and Sun. I was we'll gonna do some work outside, but I'm gonna get this watching. posted. And so I hope everybody. Thank you for watching, everybody, and hope you all have a good summer. And we will see you right again next Wednesday. Cut, post, and print. Thank you, Worship Wednesday. Oh, that's perfect. Well done. Hey, no more. Audio clips until we go back to the beginning and start over. Oh, we did it 1459. <laughs>